It's really interesting to constantly reconsider what it means to see these objects in an art context, what it means to think about art objects living over time, and how materiality and technology also create new works and new material iterations in the future. So this is Currents 116 Oliver Larrick. He is a Berlin-based artist who creates videos and sculptures and online artworks that are downloadable and transmittable in a variety of ways. And here we have a new sculpture that was made specifically for this exhibition and a recent video work. Oliver will often work from 3D scans of objects in museum collections. And for our exhibition, he came to St. Louis a few years ago and we walked through the galleries and he was really struck by the reclining pan. And we had our team come and they did a 3D scan of the sculpture. For this artwork, Oliver sliced up the file into different sections and then it was printed by a 3D printer. But three of the sections are 3D printed and then the print was turned into a mold and then he poured a resin into the mold to create a new section of the sculpture. So there's this translucent kind of pearl resin that was used where there's a pigment added to the resin that makes it iridescent. And then there's the clear section, which is another resin section. And then several sections get painted and polished after they're molded and then the sculpture gets put back together and put onto the plinth that you see in the gallery. The sculpture is based on a 1535 sculpture by Francesco di Sagallo. And this iteration of the sculpture was a fountain in Renaissance Italy. But when the sculpture was removed from its site as a fountain and turned into a kind of more freestanding object, it was later discovered that it wasn't original lead just the fountain. It was a found piece of ancient imperial Roman marble that was reused and recarved in the 1500s for this fountain. So on the back side of the sculpture, after it had been removed from the fountain wall, you see drapery and carving from ancient Rome. So this was actually an ancient Roman sculpture that was then repurposed as a Renaissance fountain, which then went into a series of collections all over the world. And Oliver's work often deals with these different ways that images and objects live throughout the world, repurposing it both as a digital file that then can live on through many different sculptures and many different iterations to the repurposing of it for this contemporary sculpture in the galleries. Oliver's newest animated video is Betweenness, and it is a black and white video that's all made from a single line. The animation is done by the line having sort of anchor points placed in it, like a vector, and then it's pulled out so time can be sped up and slowed down. And he's taken a lot of found footage from nature, from different kind of source footages, and then created this kind of elongated space. And it's a real meditation on kind of space and liminality and betweenness as the title states. And I think it's a really interesting film to just sit and watch and experience and really let it kind of wash over you. The soundtrack was done by a Finnish composer named Villa Heimala, and it's a very interesting soundtrack in that it has a very sort of minor key and never fully resolves, so it adds that kind of emotional resonance of really sitting and watching this fluidity of animation.